utmost year at the church auditorium of New Covenant Gospel Church was that of frenzy following the 70th birthday of Reverend Phyllis Omobode as dignitaries converged to identify with the celebrant. In his message, the guest preacher Archbishop Mike Okwankwo, who took his message from the book of Psalm, said all humor are product of God's mercy, adding that everything that human own, including the bread of life, are God's property. Archbishop Okwankwo, who described the celebrant as a shining example of God's grace and mercy, however attributed the celebrant's success stories to his humility, dedication and steadfastness to the service of God, and urged the congregation to serve God sincerely. You pass through and the high waters, challenges came in the humble beginning. Who would have thought that God will keep you alive to touch people like this? Is of God's mercy. The first son of the celebrant, Ebenezer Mobody, who delivered a keynote address, stood his fatherly disposition as unparalleled to know, pointing out that he would continually appreciate him for God's blessing upon his life. Dad, I'll tell you this in your eyes, I've seen God's love. In your words, I've heard God's wisdom. And through your life, I have found God's grace. The special guest of Anna, an honorary Romania consul to Edo and Delta states of Nigeria, His Excellency Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Usawaru Ibinedio, the Isama of Benin, who sang his favorite song, described the celebrant as an enigma who has made a great mark in the propagation of the gospel. The Isama of Benin, in his usual magnanimity, surprised the celebrant when he told Archbishop Mike Okwonkwo and Archbishop Margaret Idausa to identify two poor persons who will be made instant millionaires to commemorate the 70th birthday of Reverend Phyllis Omobode. The duo presented the two persons before the Isama of Benin and they were made instant millionaires. The Almighty God will continue to uphold him, to continue to use him in his vineyard, and that he will shadow will never grow dim. In their separate messages, the Archbishop of Church of God Mission, Her Grace, Most Reverend Dr. Margaret Benson Idausa, Bishop Onyonu de Kure, and other guests also spoke gloriously of the celebrants. I want to celebrate you this morning, sir. Because the Lord has brought you thus far. And I believe that the best is yet to come and God to us. Papa is a man of absolute integrity. We believe in him. He's an apostle of God by every standard. All of us in the north look up to him as a worthy leader. And the same all over the nation. We appreciate him. When God keeps you alive, it means there is something that is needed to be added to the value that was added. So I believe that God is going to add more years to him, to add more value to the value he has added to mankind. I only want to wish him longer life in good health because he has affected too many lives. We will always celebrate with him because uh, he is one of those that we look on to. In a remark, the celebrant, Reverend Phyllis Omobode, thanked dignitaries for identifying with him in this auspicious occasion and that his success stories will be incomplete without a special tribute to God Almighty. 
when Jesus becomes Lord of a man's life, he directs him. And that has been my source of strength. And even in 70, as he see that grace of God upon his life, and so I can say, I have somebody that God has given me that is stable in an unstable world. There were goodwill messages from notable personalities in Nigeria, including the Catholic Archbishop of Benin Diocese, His Grace Most Reverend Dr. Obiara Akubeze. High points of the celebration was a cutting of the 70th birthday cake. <laughs> Wellington Cottager reporting.